Well, thank God for Sunday. It's another time for us to review another book. Every single Sunday we set aside just to look at uh, some of the authors that are writing things that are making us to learn, things that are making us to develop. And today I have a very big treat for you. You know, I normally gravitate towards books that talk about brain development. And I'm not going to scare you with, uh, you know, brain science and all that stuff. This is information that you need as a parent, information that you need as a business person, information that you need as a leader, and even information that you need as someone who is growing up. If you are interested in the nature of your brain, you're interested in the health of your brain, interested in the growth and the development of your brain, I've got a treat for you. You've got to stay tuned to this book. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. Well, let me start by saying that uh, I am totally interested in messages, articles, books, whatever, videos that will tell me something interesting about my brain and how it functions and so on. You know, the brain is one of the biggest wonders of this world. The way our brain functions, there is no computer ever created and I think there is no computer that ever will be created that can outdo the brain. None, none. Just take an example of the eye alone, the eye, the human eye. If you identify the human eye, if you take the human eye and just look at the way it functions. I'm talking about the eye alone. The way it functions, it is such a genius thing, such a, a phenomenon that you cannot compare to a camera and so on and so forth. And I know that we've developed cameras and clarity and so on, but the way the eye operates intelligently, it is out of this world, so to speak. So when you go to the brain, you find a total big animal, and there are very many facts about your brain. Did you know that? I think they say 20% of the brain power, 20% of the, the, the food that you eat is actually utilized by the brain. The amount of oxygen that you use, a lot of that is utilized by the brain. It is, the brain is a very minute thing in terms of size. I'm talking about the weight of the brain. It's, it's big, it's small, sorry, as compared to the rest of the body. But the capacity that the brain churns out in terms of activity, in terms of usage of air, that is uh, in terms of usage of uh, carbon dioxide, I mean in terms of usage of oxygen, and in terms of usage of food, it is out of this world. So it's something that you and I need to study. And when I talk about the brain, it should not scare you to think that we are talking seriously about science here. Listen, scientists have studied this thing inside and outside, and they have made this information contemporary. That means that anyone whether you love science or you don't, you can read about the brain and you can understand some aspects about the brain. Actually, reading this book will motivate you to do some things. You know, it's important for us to do some things with the reasons behind. For example, when we want to lose weight and so on and so forth, why do we want to lose weight? To what? What is the reason behind it? When you find the reason behind doing something, you get motivated. And that's why I want you, as a parent... If you have kids in your house, you're raising up kids and so on. If you are a leader, you have people under you that are looking for you. They are overseeing. You know, you, they, you have oversight over them. If you are 
interested in developing your brain and even interested in, in de- developing your intellect, this book says something in part. It says that every day of your life, you can make your brain better, faster, fitter, and yes, you can make it sharper. And this writer of this book is totally convinced about it. So, ladies and gentlemen, the book that we are doing a review today is the book called Keep Sharp, Build a Better Brain at Any Age by Dr. Sanjay Gupta. You know, Dr. Sanjay Gupta is a CNN chief medical correspondent by the time he was writing this book. I'm not so sure if he still is. But uh, he's traveled the world and he's specialized in the brain and so on and so forth. And you can read his story even as he's developing in that particular book. This book, I guarantee you, anybody, you don't need to have a medical brain or so to speak to pick up this book and to read it. But anybody who is interested in knowledge about your brain, knowledge about how you operate, you need to read this book. He says that in order to best take care of your body, you have to first take care of your mind. You have to first take care of your brain. And there is a correlation between the brain and the way the rest of the body operates. And so I want us to take some few minutes here and there and just learn some things. He says that we know that diseases like as, as Alzheimer's, they start 20 to 30 years before any symptoms will develop. And so young people need to heed the lessons that are contained in this book. That's why I'm saying you do not need to be a professor in science to understand the concepts about brain and growth of the brain and making your brain sharper and so on and so forth. Just anybody who is interested. And the younger you are, the better. Uh, But but I've said that, you know, if you are a parent and, and so on, you need to read this book. But also if you're a young person and maybe you're not even a parent, maybe you're still in school, maybe you are out of school you need to read this book this book when you read it you're not going to pass some exams so to speak but this book is going to make you understand how your brain functions so that you can alter your activities you can alter your productivity around your life this book is a must read i'm going to say that it's a must read for anyone who is interested in personal productivity, organizational productivity, is interested in growth of other people and is interested in the growth of themselves. He says that a new study in 2018 published in the journal called Genetics revealed that the person we marry factors greater into our longevity than our genetic inheritance does. That's some of the things that he's talking about in this book. And so if you're interested in making a decision about marriage and so on and so forth, <laughs> it would be nice for you to take a, a, a peek at this book and read it. So the doctor, the good doctor, has divided this book into three sections. And I really love the third section. This is where you can put into practice by reflection everything else that you've been reading in the book. But the second section, he explains in detail the strategies you can use the tools the resources you can have in order to make your brain sharper and in a nutshell he says this he says that there are some practical strategies you need to protect and heighten your brain function and he divides them into five things let me mention them to you but you can pick the book and you can read them in detail the first thing that you can do to make sure that your brain is sharper is to exercise this one is an obvious thing, exercise and movement. There are other books that I've read. Uh, there's a book I'm going to review called Brain Rules, maybe in the next uh, few weeks, that also talks about this. The more a child or even an adult exercises, the more you walk, the more you... Every time you are doing something to exercise your body, it's like a nuclear bomb, so to speak, to your brain. The brain feeds on exercises. It feeds on activity. So if you find yourself sitting in one position the whole day, that's why, you know, those offices would go to where you, you're you sitting in one position from 8 to 5. It is not good. It is not good at all. In fact, there are some organizations that are changing the way their offices are structured and so on and so forth so that people can at least exercise as they are working. So one of the things that you need to take into consideration, when you when people talk about jogging, physical exercises, it is not just for you to lose weight, you know, have BMI improved and have blood circulation improved. It is to give your brain sharpness. 
So exercise and movement is one of the first things that you need to do. And this is obvious. You know, someone will think that if I wanted to improve my brain, maybe I need to take some kind of drugs. Let me tell you, the things that are said in this book, the practical steps that you need to take in this book, they is nothing to do with medicine. Nothing to do with injecting yourself with something, smoking something, you know, taking some kind of drug, nothing. Most of these things that we need to do are readily available to anyone, anywhere. So exercise and movement is the first thing. The second thing is a sense of purpose, learning and curiosity, learning and discovery. That if you just sit there and you're not doing anything about your life, not wanting to know things about your life, not wanting to know things about the world, the brain doesn't become sharper. That's why I love teaching people how to mastermind. I love teaching people how to do this uh, mind mapping and mind storming. These things improve your thinking capacity. They, they sharpen your brain. So it's the second thing that you can be able to do. The third thing that the doctor is talking about here is simply rest and relaxation, sleep and relaxation. The more you give your brain some time to sleep, the brain needs to take some time off. And of course, we know that the brain doesn't sleep. But the more the active brain, the conscious mind, is taking some time to relax, to recharge. It has been found, by, by the way, it's been found out that if you take a nap of 20 minutes, you can as well have recouped yourself a day of productivity as compared to when you'd use those 20 minutes of napping to work. It is very powerful. Sleep and relaxation is very powerful, but it is explained in bigger detail in this book. The fourth thing is, of course, you saw that coming, nutrition. You know, when I, when I read this book, up to today, I have no problem not eating sugar or not taking sugar in my, in my diet. I used to, you know, you know, just think that these uh, nutritionists are talking about, uh, yes, you know. But when I read this book, I started taking my nutrition seriously because I am serious about my brain. I want my brain to be sharp. I want to remember. I want to think. I want to, I want to be sharp. I want to be a top-notch productive person. So nutrition is absolutely key. And of course, you will know what kind of nutrition these guys are going to talk, to talk about. They're going to talk about, uh, you know, eating fruits, eating vegetables, taking a lot of water, you know, eating a balanced diet and so on and so forth. These things are obvious, but you need to know that they are connected to your brain. So that's the fourth thing. And then the last thing he talks about is social connection. I found this to be extremely powerful, especially when you're talking about children. If your children are just in your house, there some people were so, you know, my kids are, are going to be spoiled and they're just housing them in their houses and they're not socializing with other kids. Let me tell you, that is detrimental to their brain development. So go out there, even yourself. Go out there, interact with people. You know, the, the kind of people that you gather around you, the social interaction that you relate to is going to help your brain to become sharper one way or another. So this is a book that I would recommend for anyone to pick it up and uh, to go and read it. There are some things he says, things like, the brain can get stronger with age. Did you know that? Previously, we think that, or I used to think that the more you age, the less the brain capacity. But he says that there's nothing brainy about this. Anyone can build a better brain at any age, at any age, using this some, some of these practical steps that he's giving you. And then he's going to give you an assessment that you're going to go through and learn about your brain and learn about your position, where you are at in life, in terms of your brain capacity and and so on and so forth but this book is an absolute uh, teaser he narrates very many stories and brings those stories into picture in fact he's a he he practices what he's teaching here and so some of the elements he shares in the book are coming directly from his practice he says that memory is the most commonly recognized cognitive function a higher brain function as is in addition to memory cognition includes attention writing reading abstract thinking decision making problem solving and performing everyday tasks like navigating your way and so on and so forth and says that these things can be heightened 
by some of the practices practices that is highlighted in the book did you know that you can improve your remember remembering capacity your memory capacity you can improve your thinking capacity by some of the things that is mentioned here it says that to improve and preserve memory at the cognitive level you have to work on all functions of your brain and you can find out in the book what it says it says that it helps to consider memory building in three phases encoding storage and retrieval and these things can be improved if you are keen enough about your brain so in a nutshell that is the review today we have done for the book it's called keep sharp by dr sanjay gupta building a better brain at any age i don't know what age you are at but this book is an absolute must read for anyone who is interested to become sharper literally in the next uh, weekend we're going to review another book by another author and another writer and i hope this one is going to help you go and get a copy just a disclaimer i'm not paid to do any review here i'm not paid and i'm not having any affiliation fees for anything i'm just helping people i'm a coach and i help people i love people to grow their productivity and this book will help you quite a bit until next time bye bye a special shout out to my mentor jeffrey howard of visionary business university found at mastermindmentor.com who has graciously provided me with the soundtrack and the introductory track to this podcast thank you jeff thank you for listening to life signatures radio if you enjoyed today's show subscribe to life signatures radio on itunes stitcher or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com life signatures radio fresh clean and inspiring